fan, welcome back to the laboratory. We got a quick one for you today. A quick get into mythic kind of deck. Mono red. You're looking to get into mythic? Just burn them out, mono red. Meat Hook Massacre will be off the client for standard tomorrow, so this deck might see a rise in popularity. So let's uh, talk about it. Let's start with the one drops. Most important card in the deck. We got Kumano faces Kakazan. I'm sure you've seen this card. This is a sick little one drop. Enters the battlefield, deals one damage to each opponent and each planeswalker they control. So you can snipe Liliana's with this. And then the next lore counter, when you cast your next creature spell, it gets a plus one, plus one counter on it. Makes our boys a little bigger. Very nice. And then the last lore counter, it flips into a 2-2 Haster that exiles things when we deal damage to them. Very important for opposing the underdogs. And then we have, let's move on to Phoenix Chick. 1-1 one, one Flying Haste can come back from the graveyard for two if you attack with three or more creatures. A little bit of late game reach. And then we have two copies of Shivan Devastator. This can just come down as a big 4-4 four, four in the late game sometimes, or sometimes just a turn 2-2-2 two, two, two after a Kumano faces Kakazan. Just a, a versatile threat, hasty flyer, because uh, sometimes the ground gets gummed up. You need to get past Shieldred somehow. This is one of those ways. Then our last one drops, we got a little removal uh, and a little burn. Play with fire, two damage to any target. If we hit our opponent in the face with this, we can scry one, which sometimes helps us fix our draws. And then we have two copies of Hammer Hand, just two. Uh, sometimes it's just good to hit this and um, get in the last little points of damage or get past a, uh, a bigger creature. So when Hammer Hand enters the battlefield, target creature can't block. Very nice. And the creature gets plus one, plus one in haste. So sometimes it's cool to uh, hit our uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker or our, our non-hasty creatures. Hitting uh, Hammer Hand on Firebrand's pretty nice. That brings us to our two drops. We have Rahas Firebrand. Whenever Rahas Firebrand attacks, target creature defending player controls with power less than Rahas Firebrand's power can't block this turn. It also has a domain effect where you can pump Five mana into it because it costs one less for each basic land type we have so we have mountains <laughs> so it only costs five but uh it gets plus two plus two until in a turn we don't use the domain ability much but it is nice to have make it a five three in the late game which means something with four power can't block pretty good I means children can't block then we have our bloodthirsty adversary hasty two two uh, if we cast it for five, we can cast something from the graveyard, one of our instants or sorceries, which we have two. So we can cast our burn spells from the graveyard, which is good. And then it becomes a 3-3. Three, three. So we have our last two drop, Lightning Strike, three damage to any target. Easy peasy. So our three drops, we have Fable the Mirror Breaker. You don't see this in every list, but I think this card is just too good not to play. So we have, it makes a 2-2. Two, two that uh, when it attacks makes treasures. Uh, lore counter two, we may discard two cards if we do draw that many. Backside of it is it creates a token copy of a creature for one mana, and then we sacrifice it at the end step. So we can copy Bloodthirsty Adversary for one mana, and then use its uh, pay three and a number of times ability to make it big and cast spells from the graveyard. So that's a nice little synergy, which brings us to our other three drops. We have Squee, the Dubious Monarch. Haste. When it attacks, you, you make a 1-1 one, one red goblin creature that's tapped and attacking, which is nice. And then you can also cast him from the graveyard, which is something this deck likes, because, you know, after a board wipe, you think mono red is just toast. But we have Squee. Squee helps, and then we also have Phoenix Chick. Squee also helps turn on the ability to cast Phoenix Chick, because it makes two creatures attacking, which is nice. Then we also have Reckless Stormseeker. Day bound, when it enters the battlefield, target creature you control gets plus one, plus zero, and gains haste on a turn. Another way to give our creatures haste can give itself haste. So don't make the mistake of playing it and then pumping something else and forgetting this won't have haste. Uh, the night side, plus two, plus zero in haste, and trample, which is nice. And uh, that, those are our three drops. Hasty boys and card advantage. Then our last card, we have Thundering Raiju. 3-3 three, three Haste, whenever it attacks, you may put a counter on target creature you control, then Thundering Raiju deals X damage to each opponent where X is the number of modified creatures you control. In our deck, modified means either a plus one, plus one counter, 
or enchanted by our hammer hand aura. So give our uh, Kamano helps put counters on things. Phoenix Chick can get a counter by itself. Devastator can get a counter by itself. Adversary can put counters on itself. So pretty solid. So just three copies. Uh, keeping our curve pretty low. Just 20, 20 mountains, easy mana base. And that's the deck, that's it. Take the deck for a spin and let's get into Mythic together. Let's get into some mischief. Wait, like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 500 subscribers so I can put out some polls, see what you guys want in the channel. Eventually get to 1,000 so I can continue to keep doing this for you guys. Enjoy. Looks like a keeper to me. All right, we're gonna lead with Kumano. We have a prefect. Oh boy. We're gonna lead on Kumano. Up against Mono White. Forzov. Boros. Mono White. Ambitious Farmhand. Opponent looking for a land. Looking for a plane specifically. They found one. Good job, opponent. Okay, let's. I guess we're devastating. Devastator. Two power coming at you. Ooh, so spicy. Opponent. Do we have a wedding announcement? Looky there. Well, well, well. Coming in for one. Makes one one. All right, it's time to come in with a good old squeaky. Old dubious squeezel. Opponent jumps with one one. Down to twelve. Now do we have opponent? Sunset, no regrets. Okay, making all them 1-1s. One okay. Well, I think it's time for some Raiju action. I wish we had another dork. Or another another ma another mana so we could use this removal spell to save a raid you because they're probably gonna chump here triple block it I also want squeed to live so we can keep getting in okay they're gonna chumps chump chump till they get a bunch of till their dorks get bigger I guess hmm how oh, do they got a board wipe To populate. Okay, no, rebuilding. Okay, opponent's rebuilding. Companion. You gotta get rid of, you have Fate Flaps and the Raiju. Okay. Okay, now there's some two twos. Let's see what to do here. Attack indiscriminately. Ooh, the double block. Let's eat that. Combat resolves down to five. Ooh, should I have just killed them there? That would have been better. <laughs> Oops. Okay, let's put them to four. <laughs> so we should have just uh, used our burn and killed them. That would have been better. Mark that down. One misplay. Miss, miss lethal. 
Missed lethal. Wasn't counting. I think you're dead though, opponent. You seem real dead. Sure. All right, opponent. Can you take? Can you go down to one? Yeah, they did. Here we go. Four more. And here we are. Keepable hand. Mono blue. Oh, my nemesis. Mono blue is a real treat. Okay, if they consider. I'm gonna give you something to, con to consider, opponent. Can Squee get us out of this one? Probably, probably not Squee, just the, specifically. No two drop. Okay. No bueno. I guess we're gonna all play with fire on their turn. We uh, really needed a two drop there. That wasn't burn. Okay, opponent passing. Let's take a sneak peek. Oof. Is that what we want? I don't think that's what we want. Right, if we draw a ride gym, we be upset though. Okay, but let's play the fire. We gotta play a squee. Hopefully they don't have syncopate or dissipate or whatever the exile spells are. Hopefully it's just a... No! Every time! They get the syncopate. Fading help? Alright, opponent. Bottom, I like that. Uh, Illuminator. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Well, that's rude. Can we kill it? Let's, let's attempt to kill it. Yep, spell pierce, sure. Resolves. Well, let's go mono. Opponent comes in for two. Exiles. Lovely. And our, our uh, adversary is going to be garbage. Let's try to lightning strike again. I mean, we have to, right? Or should we just ignore everything and go face? Is that the mono red way? We just ignore their creatures and go face. Counters, sure. Phoenix chick. Other spells cost less. Oh, you may cast a spell from the top of your library once a turn. Nifty. Here it comes. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, here come Kumano. Do we Fable or play Kumano again? What's Kumano? Combat. Excuse me. Pass turn. Hold up on their end step. We'll play play with fire. All right, opponent coming in. Nothing to exile. And opponent, you got all that mana. All the mana. 
sure. Play with fire. We need it. We need something good off the top. Hammer hand? I don't think that's it. Do we hit a land? I don't think that was it either, but that's fine. Um, I guess we Stormseeker. What else you got, opponent? Another counter spell? Yes. No. Okay. Next. A little haste action. Here we go. Six. Fire land. We have opponent at five. We're winning the race. Ghost and knight. Okay, let's play Fable. Oh, if, if I if they make disappear and I didn't have this land down. Okay, Spell Pierce. Also wish I had the land down. Okay. Let's see what they do. We have a lot of damage coming at them. They block, bounce. Flip out the back, okay. Slip out the back. Okay. Player land. I really wish we would have had that mana available. Oh yeah, it's all over. <laughs> and we got him. We did it. All right, we got a keepable hand here against Millhouse. Well, hello, Millhouse. We're trying to get into Mythic here with Mono Red. Pawn it on. Esper, maybe? Blue White Control. We're gonna come Mono. Blue white control it appears to be. Does that mean this uh, devastator we're about to cast is gonna get countered? Feels like it. Well, let's get through the counters eventually. Opponent thinking. Yep, counter spell. Sure. All right, opponent Esper. What you do with that mana? Saving up another counter. Do they have... We have double squeeze, so if they syncopate, we can be okay. Using our mana efficiently. Golden egg sleeves, eh? Okay. Do we fading hope here? Fateful absence. March. Sure. They exile a card from their hand. March or squee. Which exiles it. That's alright, we have a backup squee. Ooh. Do they have... Emperor? Probably. So I'm gonna put the counter on Kamano. Okay, it resolves. Counter on... On Kumano. Okay, destroy evil, sure. I'm okay with that. I was expecting Emperor. Uh, let's see. Shall we squee? <laughs> I think we shall. Opponent running out of cards. I like that. Old squeezel. Okay, now do they have Emperor for us? I think we still put it on... 
Well, let's play around. Um, destroy evil. Don't make him four power. Okay, opponent takes it. All right, let's play Kumano. Playing lightning strikes, you know, puts them at three, but getting this Kumano cooking is probably better. Because they just counter our lightning strike, then well, they could. Okay, Sanctuary Warden. I think that means we're in the clear. I think we have lethal. Counter here. Shock him. Lightning strike you in the face. Snipe. Got him. GG. Millhouse. Two more wins. Win that sweet mythic. Okay. Now we can keep this. Come on on one's always solid. We got two drops. Opponent also come on on one. Can we out red deck them? Alright. Should we have left up play with fire? I played I played a little work a bit of control? Perhaps. Opponent with the Halloween sleeves. I don't know why. Every time I see this sleeve I just I see Terminator from far away. Terminator. What are we doing? Uh Blaberg? What I'm thinking. What? <laughs> Mono red confused. Okay, opponent passed through their turn. Sorry, opponent. Feels bad. I'm going to bloodthirsty only because it becomes a 3 3, which gets around play with fire. Or I probably would have shivan devastated. Because uh, Bloodthirsty is good again later. So, okay, I think. Easy wins. Sorry, opponent. Well, you get to watch that nonsense. Alright. Is this the game? Can we get to Mythic? All right, we go first. Here's a phoenix chick. What are we on, opponent? Mono black, I had a feeling. All right, let's keep out the pressure. Do they have a cut down? Bloodthirsty adversary? Does it get the ax? Yes, cut down is prime. Sure, we get him for one. Opponent at 18. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, cult conscript. I'll allow it. Get in for one. Alright, Phoenix Chick hits. We fable. Make our little goblin token. Opponent. What this cult? Okay, cut down on our goblin token. Sure. What this conscript do? Underdog. Okay. We draw a devastator. I think we like our hand. Decline. Let's land in devastator. One, two, three. Out of cut down range. Off the ground, which is nice. All attack. Neither one of these are great targets for uh, Mirror Breaker, but that's okay. When it comes in for five. Ooh. I'm gonna hold this adversary, I think. Actually. Well, actually, let's not. Or should I? Wait. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We might not draw the land. Okay, let's just... Let's get in for the damage. 
I was thinking double dial, double lightning strike, and then we play adversary next turn, which would uh, enable another lightning strike. But this way, we can lightning strike at end of turn, at end of their turn, and then we can copy adversary. Ugh, no more copy adversary. Okay. We could copy an adversary and then recast Lightning Strike as well. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll put our opponent at one here. Potentially. Okay, opponent comes in for three. Down to ten. What's the last card? They don't want to tell us. It's probably a kill. Oh my gosh, I almost targeted Underdog. It's three to the face. Can we get the hotness? Triple Lightning Strike and opponent. Burnout. And... Mythic. We did it. With Mono Red. We have ascended. Yeah, we'll keep. Bonus match. Up against Tanados the Stoker. Phoenix Chick. Fresh Mythic. Let's see if we can keep it going. Up against number 273. This would be sweet. Okay. Let's keep the pressure going. Boy. We'll do. Might take them down a couple levels if we if we get there. Yikes. Okay. Guess we should have played Fire. Firebrand last turn. Okay, let's Stormseeker. And we attack for four. Boy, what? You want up here? You want to see what happens? Oh, him's boy. What an announcement! Sure. Opponent coming in for two. No, not coming in for two. Okay, we ride you. Let's get that. Phoenix check some action. Attack with you and you. Two attackers. Counter here. Opponent chumps. Do they have a board wipe? Should I have attacked for more there? Maybe. I don't want them to I don't want them to block and gain life. Okay, cut down, sure. What else do we have, opponent? Another wedding announcement? That's fine. Opponent comes in for two. No blocks. Make two one ones. That I can handle. Ooh, look at that. Let's make you big. One, two, three, four. So we'll all attack. Put a counter here. Punch them hard. Put them to five. All right, opponent, what do you got? Number 273. What you doing? You got to populate? You got an emperor? Can we burn you out? Has Mono Red, as Mono Red ascended to the top? Passing turn. Okay, they getting the big blocks in. Ooh, do we have a burn spell? We do not. It's bloodthirsty. Auto pay. Might just be killing our opponent here with just ride you. Mm -hmm. Have opponent at one. Okay, the Ottawara, sure. Block a uh, bloodthirsty. Okay, they take two, gain three. That's pretty good for them. 
Can they survive this Devastator in the air, though? They're going to gain four life. If we just attack in the air next turn. Or if we just... Can we kill them with the Raiju trigger? I could... I could Devastator for two, play Firebrand, get the trigger, put it on Firebrand. I want to come in for three. Okay, up to five. What are you doing with this mana? Boy, what, what are you doing over there? Bankbuster. Sure. They have two mana. Okay, let's firebrand. Play this for three. Okay, they have a counter spell. Sure. All attack. So if we put it here, that's three. Yeah, we're, they're dead. Got him. And the streak continues. We took them down a peg. <laughs> All right. And that's mono red. And we're back. Easy games. We did it. We're in Mythic with Mono Red. Easy peasy. So what do you guys think about the deck? What well, any changes you would make? I think it performed pretty optimally. We didn't get mana screwed really. Uh, the deck was quick. I think it'll get even better now that Meat Hook Massacre's on the ban hammer. So get in the comment section. Tell me what you do different. Comment on my misplays. And then catch me one day, Wednesday, Fridays on stream. Uh, 11 p.m. EST and uh, we do we're trying something out different we're gonna do Mondays and Fridays on Twitch and Wednesdays on YouTube just trying out the uh, solo platforms by themselves to see how they go and then uh, join our discord we got the link in the description and the meat hook massacre has been banned so we're gonna be bringing some more decks to the table to see how they perform without the meat hook massacre so stay tuned for those and then hit that bell for notifications so YouTube can tell you what we're cooking up next time in Soren's Laboratory.